All right, welcome back. Terry Caliendo, Dedicated Managers, continuing on here with Vue.js authentication with Auth0. Uh, let's see, where are we? Last thing we did, we did some uh, credential stuff here in, in uh, video 9, and we are now moving on to adding a login page and a logout button. So let's get started with that. And let's bring up Visual Studio Code here. And uh, the first thing we need to do is make a login page. So let's go into Views and do a new file here. I'll we'll call it login.view. And in that login.view, I am going to magically add a bunch of code. And we'll see what this code is, but very simple. We've got a template, a container. This is a slide transition, so it looks cool uh, when it comes in. If it, if it will even do that, I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to do a layout, which gives us the flex stuff. You can learn about all this stuff. It gives us different sizing uh, based on the screens. Uh, I'm going to add a card, which is going to give it a nice little box, give it a margin top so it doesn't float towards the top there. We'd put a logo in. Uh, and then uh, some notes about the application. Here's my welcome to my application. Please log in to connect. Um, probably need a couple BRs there, a couple breaks, some lorem ipsum just as placeholder that would be you know more text about your app. And then we call this. Uh, here's a button here, and we call auth login on that button. And then we'll have to write the code for that down below here. But first, I should probably do an npm run serve to get the server running so that we can look at see what that looks like and I'll be back when that's done uh, compiling all right that finished up we can control click to uh, to open that up but I've already got it open so let's just get back here and run it and there it is except I am uh, logged in no I am not logged in this is just showing us the 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 root page you know what I didn't do was create a route uh, so we need to go into the router. Here's the router here, and we need to create a route for it. Let's put it below the contact page. And we'll do slash login. And the name will be login. And the component will be login. And then we got to come up here, and we'll copy and paste that to login from views login view so that's going to load uh, that login view into this object into this variable that's going to label it as this component put that variable into this component and then it's going to load that component for that path into the main router within the app view so that should do that I forgot to save that so let's save it it's going to recompile my computer's acting slow tonight and we should see it reload and now we should be able to go to slash login and we've got nothing let's take a look and see did I save um, did I save login view let's save that oh and I've got an issue here this uh, this image logo doesn't exist so dependency not found so I required an image from the assets directory uh, that is, you could always put things in the public directory um, and access them if you don't want them to go through Webpack's, you know, optimizations. Otherwise, you put it in the assets directory and you reference it, I believe, like this. This is how I've been doing it with a require statement, and it goes and gets that. Uh, and then that this require allows um, Webpack to, you know, process it. So I need to go and get this and create a logo here. Let's just, uh, you know what, let's just delete it for now. And let's see if that, okay, now we're compiled. Let's take a look back here. Uh, one thing I got to change real quick is welcome. Whoops. All right, so your logo would go here. You'd, you'd put an image there. Uh, here's your welcome note, you're you know, welcome to my application, log in to connect, and we'd click login. Now, I haven't done anything with that login button yet, so I should get an error if I click on it. There it is, there's an error. So uh, now we got to go and do that functionality. 
So let's take a look here. That's the bottom of this file. So I am going to once again magically do some instant coding. And so this is our typical script portion of a view file where we export, uh, you do an export default, we give it a name. I'm giving this the name of login. And then we have methods. Uh, and so that's what this cl at click is going to call this method, uh, which is going to dispatch to the store a um, an auth zero login that we're going to code later. So we're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to comment that out, but at least that should get rid of the error if we save it. Um, let's just console dot log. Um, we are in auth zero login. Let's save that up. Hot reload. It probably did reload, but I'm going to cause force a reload. So there it is there. And when we click login, we get the console.log. We are in auth zero login. So that's that's wired up and working. Remember, this is from earlier. I just haven't taken that out. Um, so what do we need to do next? We need to uh, create a log out button and uh, hard code in that um, is user authorized. So I'm just going to copy that so I've got it into Vuex. We'll do that first. So let's go back to the code here. Let's go into the store. And I've got my store set up. I, this is likely going to be set up for you initially, I think. But if not, you've got what here, what it looks like. Um, so we're going to set up an initial state, is user authorized, and we're going to set it to true. Nope, comma, because it's an object. It's an object, so they, you know, it's, it's, um, um, property colon value, then comma to property colon value. So there's your state. And so, um, what was the other thing we needed to do next? We need to create that logout button. So let's go back to our app here. Let's find the, the app.view, and this is our toolbar. So let's, after the toolbar, let's put a V button. Um, and it's going to have an at click equal to something, which is uh, we'll define in a minute. And we're going to say log out slash the button. We'll have that click be log out. Uh, we don't need to put a function there. So then in the, we don't have a methods here. So we need to create a methods section. And I can never remember uh, if methods is an object or a function. Methods is a object of functions. So uh, where was I? I was in app.view. So methods is an object of functions. And we'll console dot log logging out so now when we click the logout button the at click should call the the logout I didn't put a comma here I love I love this debugging that saves you so much time did you see that that red line was telling me that there's something wrong here um, and obviously there's not a com comma between uh, these parts of the the object that we're creating here so um, you know, it saves you from compiling and going trying to figure out the errors. So let's see, what, what do we have? We've got the logout, we've got the button. Let's, let's do a save all. Make sure it compiles. There we go. How's it look on the front end? It's reloading. And there's our logout button. I click logout and I get the logging out functionality. So we're going to go back and plug in that functionality. We'll plug in this functionality. But now let's do the if statement um, to show the logout whether or not the um, the ver the storage variable for for authorized is is true. So we'll do if oops v if um, now technically you should probably create a um, a computed variable for this, but I think we might be able to just go um, let's try it this dot string store dot state dot uh, did I still have it in memory there it is auth user is user authorized so let's see if that works right now 
is user authorized. Remember, we set, we hard coded it to true. We're going to go back and, and you know update that based on our application state. So let's see the logout button is showing. So now if I go and change that to false, which our application will ultimately end up doing, and save it. Let's see if we hot reload. And that logout button is now gone. So uh, when the user's logged in, we'll see the logout button. Um, and when they're not, we won't see the login button. Now, did I get that right? Um, the user is authorized. If user is authorized, that means they're logged in, which means we want to see the logout button. So if we go back to app, if user is authorized is true, then yeah, we're going to see the logout button. So we don't need to negate this because of the opposite logic. If it was user is not authorized, then we'd have to negate it. So I think that's about it for this video. Um, we've got it working. We've got things. We've got the page wired up, the login page wired up here. Um, we've got the the button setup that works if we change that variable, which the program will end up doing. Uh, and, uh, and we've got that hard coded user, is either author, user authorized. So that's about it for this video. We'll come back um, and we'll do some initial routing configuration and, and start setting that up to, uh, to intercept the, um, start setting up the, the parameters as to whether or not we're going to, um, you know, allow a page to be loaded or not. So again, this has been a dedicated managers technology consulting presentation. Thanks for coming along. If you need any help with any programming or any outsourcing or any support, uh, or just need us to take over a project or help with a project, whatever, click that contact button, give us a call, shoot us a message. Follow us on the subscriber list there. We're up to 84, trying to get up to 100 so we can throw that party. Um, and that's about it for today. Thanks a lot. Take care. Have a great day and happy coding.